Good morning, pets, bitches, and losers. So I'm talking funny right now because I have my teeth whitening trays in. And um, I hate fucking whitening my teeth. I don't know why. It's really not that big of a deal. I hate the taste of this stuff. It's from my dentist. And my dentist, I got to go for a cleaning on Monday probably not the best time to fucking be whitening my teeth to get them all sensitive but anywho I was like you know what fuck it these bitches are gonna have to watch me whiten my teeth because it's the perfect amount of time my drive to work oh I'm like drooling Ugh. to do this and reason I don't have my hair combed out or no lipstick on because I'm whitening my teeth and no hair combed out because I have to do pictures today for our company website. So I'm trying to hold my curl until I get to work. So anywho, there's a couple things. I have some pretty exciting news for those of you that want to be humiliated. Oh, yeah, baby. So, one of my best, bestest girlfriends uh, lives in Nashville. And I think the last weekend of uh, October, so like the 26th and 27th of October, I'm going to drive up and see her. So, we were talking the other night, and we haven't really talked in a long time. Uh, she's been going through a divorce, so she's very salty. Um, she's hot, too. She's super hot. Uh, so, you know, she's been kind of laying low. We haven't talked in a while, so we talked the other night, and I, uh, she was saying something about, uh, a school that her daughter goes to. Wow, they tore that down. Um, a school that her daughter goes to, um... A private school two kids got kicked out because their mom's a dominatrix and she was just like I can't fucking believe that she's like I wanted to pull my daughter out of the school right away once I heard that but there's just not another private school that's not either like Christian or Catholic or something like that and I don't want my daughter going to a religious based school I just want her to go to a good private school nobody get their panties in a wad like that she you know she wants to choose to teach her daughter religion how she wants to so I get it so she was really pissed and I said well by the way and she knows my past back in the day I said guess what I'm doing and she's like what so we're on the phone she's looking at my Twitter and I showed her one of my dick ratings and she fucking fell out. I mean, she fell the fuck out. She was dying. And this girl is just too funny. So, what I am going to propose is the weekend of the 25th and 26th, her and I will do video or live small penis humiliation, dick ratings, humiliation in general together and uh trust me she's hilarious and she will fucking dish it out here's the one thing though she has a very high profile job in nashville so she's not gonna be able to really show her face so i'm gonna try to get her a mask or something that she can wear and uh yeah because she last fucking thing she wants is for her daughter to get kicked out of school because she fucking was telling, you know, you little pin dicks how, how disgusting your dick is. Wow, disgusting is really hard to say with this tray in my mouth. So, if anybody's interested, you need to hit me up and tell me, and um, I will definitely, oh, what the fuck is going on here? God dang it. Ugh. God, this stuff tastes horrible. I will definitely, like, we're going to make a certain time of day. She has a daughter, so we have to do this when her daughter is asleep. We're not around, so, um, you know, I'll talk to her about it, and we'll get it all, you know, set.
settled up and figure out what we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be fun. She, like I said, is fucking hilarious. And she was like, oh my God, yeah, let me at them. Let me out, let me at these bitches. Can I go down there? That just, oh yeah, I can go down there. Wow, this, you know, sometimes when they're doing road work and shit like that, and you end up having to like venture down certain areas, it's like, Motherfucker. I had no idea this shit even existed. Um, so, anywho, that is going to be most likely October 26th and 27th. I'm going <laughs> to, hey, we might even pop on on the 25th uh, night because I'm going to uh, drive from Atlanta, I think, there. I got to make sure I have a dog sitter. Um, so, everything's not completely, you know locked in, but looks pretty good. Um, and since I have to, uh, you know, get a dog sitter, that's going to be probably around $75 and gas. So yeah, motherfuckers pay for my trip. That is how it should be. So, all right. And the next thing I want to discuss is Oh, God, this stuff tastes awful. Oh, God, it's so bad. Um, you know, I, I have said in the past, I do not agree with home wrecking fetish. Um, I mean, if you're just kind of giving them a scenario and they're not actually really trying to wreck their marriage, then maybe I'm not too, you know, too down on that. Uh, as long as something actively really is not happening. But if shit really is happening, I'm not fucking down with that. You know, if somebody has a fucking issue with their marriage, get the fuck out. Don't have some dom be the one to fucking push you over the edge to make you do shit to really, you know, get out. I, I just, fuck that, you know? You took responsibility in getting in this fucking marriage. Take responsibility in getting out of it. And if you, th just like that whole, like, thrill of it, um, you better, let, let me put it to you this way. A true home wrecking experience could fuck you up if you get a divorce fuck you up because if your wife comes across this shit that you were purposely doing x y and z and i mean i've seen home wrecking ones where the doms tell them to drain their bank account or take their wife's money and you know send their wife emails basically saying shit and let me put it to you that way if you really want to start that much fucking drama in your motherfucking life or you trying to get back at your wife just remember all this shit can come back on you tenfold so I don't get it sometimes I see some of these doms just say like you know fuck your wife do this do that and all I say is like god I hope it, this is just wordplay and not actually actions happening because uh, uh, it ain't my fucking problem that you are fucking not happy in your marriage. Not my fucking problem. If you want to get out of it and you don't got the motherfucking balls to do it, not my fucking problem. I don't want to fucking deal with your ass. I'm not gonna... I don't care if your wife is the biggest cunt in the world. I'm not... I'm not a part of that shit. I ruin my own fucking relationships just fine. I don't need to go around and ruin others. So, in saying that, having subs that have living girlfriends and are married and have kids and shit like that, it makes it tricky to, um, and my one sub, he's probably watching this right now, um, but it makes it really tricky to give out tasks and stuff like that, that, um, 
because you don't want to jeopardize their relationship. My one sub has a really good relationship with his wife. You know who I'm talking about. And, um, you know, I want it just to get better. He's happy. She's happy. And I want him, you know, I satisfy his kinky side. You know, she's his love. And um, I appreciate that. So trying to think of ways to, like, do shit to him um, is kind of, mm, I have to be like, I don't want, I don't want him to get in trouble with her. Um, I think he, he had said that he had discussed some stuff with her about his, you know, what he likes and stuff. So I don't know, but that's why communication comes in. I am thinking of a really, really, really good task for him. But it will entail for him to be discreet and, um, you know, I don't want him to get in trouble. That's plain and simple. Some doms are like, I don't give a fuck, you know. I mean, don't be fucking stupid. And, uh, you know, I will spell shit out and be like, listen, motherfucker, if you're doing this, this is what you need to fucking do. I don't want to hear about your wife, like, losing it. Um. And, you know, one good thing is, when I do find out people, uh, subs have, like, wives and girlfriends and they're happy with them, but the, they just don't give them that kinky side they need, um, I'm very respectful as far as how I speak to them as, you know, I'm not being sexual with them or anything else, so I guess if the wives or girlfriends came across our communication, they'd just be more like, oh, uh, 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 you know, there's... They would see it's not sexual. I mean, yeah, there's, you know, I, I, I don't want to say sexual things in it, but, you know, there's body parts every now and then <laughs> that are nude or whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, that's that's something. Why? Why? You know, sometimes I just want to run people over. I don't want to be a bitch the asshole that this this person is going to make me want to kill them. Okay. Anywho, I'm back. So yeah, um, the whole thing about Dom's just, I don't give a shit. That's what they want. Da, da, da. <sighs> Come on. Gotta have some fucking morals. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. To each his own, but and again, if you motherfuckers are doing this just because you want to get out of your fucking marriage, grow some fucking balls. At least for a little bit so you can fucking get out of your marriage. Alright. Another thing that just completely fucking drives me nuts about these, and I'm going to fucking say it, instadoms that are just like, you know, glorified sugar babies that are like, oh my god, I can do this? I'm a sugar baby, and, uh, oh my god, I can just do this and not have to fuck somebody? I get it, boo. I get it. But if you're not, I think I've, I've definitely said this before, if you're not really into the whole mental kinky thing about it, you know, and the, you know, the power thing and whatever, not saying you can't develop that or it might be your inner self and you just don't know you, you have it until it comes out, but these girls that basically had sugar daddies or have sugar daddies, which, hey, more power to you. More fucking power to you. I am not shaming the game. But, you know, and there maybe some sleep with them and some don't. Whatever. But, you know, they're like, well, being a fin dom, uh, you know, don't label me as a sex worker. Well, bitch, what the fuck do you think it is? What do you think it is? You think, you know, you you don't think that guys that are into financial domination don't get some type of, I mean, sexual rush from it? Oh, God, I think it's moving around. I mean, maybe not all of them would, but hey. And a lot of shit goes a along with, like I said, it's super rare when you just have a sub that just wants to give you money and for you to tell him what a fucking loser he is or whatever, blah, 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 or he feels like he just should serve you financially totally, that's it. Those are kind of rare. 
Um, most, you know, most of them are fucking, they want like other shit on, you know, with all that. Whether it be like, you know, and, and usually that shit has a sexual nature. Usually it has somewhat of a sexual nature. So yeah, if you're dealing with sex in any way, shape or form, then guess what? You're a sex worker. I think people have the whole, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. I think people have the whole thing in their mind that sex work is like, you know, a porn star or an escort or even, I don't even, you know, I guess uh, stripping would be considered sex work because it's sexual. But the whole thing is there's a lot of different types of sex work. And um, we shouldn't be fucking ashamed being called a sex worker. There's nothing wrong with that. You know who's made it wrong is the fucking Puritans that, you know, people that are fucking holier than thou. If you really have an issue with being called a sex worker, then you need to reflect upon yourself because as a woman, you know, as a feminist, woo, um, and you know, I have my own type of fem feminism. I will support women doing whatever the fuck they want to do as long as they're not hurting themselves or others. I don't give two fucks. You know, this whole like such extreme feminism that has come up where literally like, oh my God, I can't believe she's doing that. She's sexualizing herself. And if that, you know, why the fuck is it so bad that we can't use our God-given gifts to fucking have the power. You know, I see, I love feeling sexy. What the fuck is wrong with feeling sexy and using that sex appeal to get what you fucking want? Nothing, ladies. Nothing. That is fucking society telling you you're bad. You know, but yet a guy can fucking sit there half naked posing and he could be like the bomb and be like, oh my God, look at his physique. He looks great. Da, da, da. But if a woman does it, it's a totally different fucking, you know, ballpark. I one time posted on my Facebook a, uh, a video of uh, chicks playing uh, football, that a lingerie football thing they do. And these bitches were no fucking joke. I was like, God damn. These girls were like clocking each other. Yeah, okay. You know, they're still padded up, but yeah, they have a lot less on. But these girls were like, hell, hell. I was like, damn. And, um, oh my God, some of these tackles were brutal. I don't know how these bitches don't have broken necks. I mean, these chicks were fucking, and, and they were hot too. So it was like fucking impressive because sometimes guys, you know, look at us if, you know, oh, you're hot, you must be delicate. Fuck you. I'll knock your ass out. I used to fucking compete in kickboxing. Trust me. I can fight. Um, but anyways, uh, a friend of mine on Facebook, you know, just was like, oh my God, I'm so disgusted. They're exploiting themselves and men, da, da, da. I was like, you are a fucking hardcore lesbian uh, feminist. And what the fuck? Who gives a shit? If they're okay with doing it, if they're getting paid and they don't have a fucking problem with it, who gives a fuck? You know, are you also going to bash, you know, strippers because they get up there and shake their ass because guys give them money to do that? Who cares? If they're happy and they're... Who gives two fucks? The only time I am against any type of sex work is when somebody is being trafficked or coerced or against, you know, like, no. This, as long as you are good with you, women, on what you're doing and you feel good about yourself and you feel empowered and you don't feel like you are being belittled or demeaned, if you do feel that, then get the fuck out of it. Because it will rot your brain and you will be a damaged motherfucker. So get out. But women, stop fucking judging what other women are doing. If you don't like it, fine. But if they're not hurting anybody or themselves, then fucking move the fuck on. 
You know, that goes for everybody. Stop being so fucking concerned with other people's lives and what they do in them. That is why we have this whole underground thing where people come to, like, you know, sex workers to, you know, get their needs met because it's so fucking tabooed. And I guarantee you, that's a big rush also. People like to do stuff when they're really, when it's really tabooed. So, whatever, but, you know, ladies, baby doms, insta doms, don't sit there. If you're fucking sitting there acting all sexy, you know, calling guys losers and saying they have tiny dicks, you're a sex worker and you're taking money for it, you're a sex worker. It's okay. We need to take the stigma off of sex work. And it should be all legal. That way, you know, trafficking goes down. Uh, you know, I mean, when you make shit legal like that. And then, like in Nevada, you can't, a uh, prostitution isn't legal in Vegas, but the state of Nevada is, and they have, um, you know, brothels and stuff out there. And those girls have to get checked, I think it's every week, something crazy. Um, you know, but they have a doctor that comes in, checks them out, they do their blood work, whole nine yards, and, you know, they have to play it safe, and hell, it's better than somebody getting killed, or a disease, or whatever, you know, I will tell you, all these Christian values everybody has, it's and here's the thing that cracks me up. I am not going to try to get political here, but everybody thinks this country was founded on Christian values and it is supposed to be, you know, those are the values we are supposed to live by, a Christian nation. Bitch, I have ancestors that came over during the time of the Mayflower. I mean, I have deep roots in America. And they were getting the, the fuck away from the persecution of their religion. People came to America to be able to have freedom of religion and everything like that. Yeah, the people that came over here were more Christian valued? Absolutely. But if you think that Muslims and God... Jewish people and everything like that didn't come over during that time either. You gotta fucking get over your fucking holier than thou self. So, you know, some of the people that came over also were some of the most hardcore Puritans. You know, like, talk about, oh, talk about, you know, religious depression. But, you know, that is the thing about the Constitution. Everybody wants to sit there and bitch about, like, eh, you want to take my gun rights away? Well, you know, freedom of fucking religion, bitch. And if you feel a certain way about shit, bravo. Then you live your life that way, but you don't fucking go around and tell other people they need to live their life a certain way. Trust me. The way I live my life does not fucking affect you. No, it does not. Because if it does, that's in your brain and you got a fucking mental issue because you don't even fucking know me. And you don't have to. And guess what? You can turn this video off right now and move the fuck on and never see me again. So my, the way I live my life and how I practice my religious beliefs, sexual beliefs, whatever, affect you, and you don't even fucking have any type of personal connection with me, go to therapy. Stop watching this shit. So, anyhow, yeah, I'm on fucking fire today. So, I'm just waiting to hear from my dog walker. I also have to make sure... I gotta take a Saturday off from work for uh, to go up and see my friend. Um, so, I'm gonna keep everybody posted, but I'm gonna talk to her and um, 
figure out some shit we can do. <laughs> I think I'm going to get her one of those masks that has, like, the rabbit ears. You know, make her super sexy. Yeah. Because she's, she's hot. She's really hot. Um, so, yeah, it'll be kind of like a double team thing. And uh, trust me, we'll have a couple glasses of wine. We'll be on motherfucking fire. Fire. So, yeah, we'll do either kick or Skype for the live stuff, the personal stuff. And I will require a deposit. I'll give you, we'll give a time, like when we're going to do it and a deposit. And then right before the session, you have to pay the remainder. Um, I ain't gonna fuck anybody over. You know, that's one thing. I'm very true to my word. I believe in motherfucking karma. Like I said in the past, if I wanted to fucking steal from people, I would just motherfucking steal. Not like this. Stealing is no bueno. I don't get it. I had a client yesterday tell me him, his uh, uh, fiance, his parents, and I think that her parents were taking a later flight over. To, they went to Spain about a month ago. And um, so him, his fiance, and his parents took a flight. And then her parents were coming in uh, like in a couple hours later. So they had rented a van because they were going to drive around Spain. And uh, they had their, they just took a red eye. So they were exhausted. And they had their stuff in the van. And it was bright, you know, it was daytime. It was on a busy street in a busy area of Barcelona. And they were like, well, we have a couple hours before we have to pick up her parents. So let's go get something to eat. Guess fucking what? They came back. Somebody had broken into the van and took all their clothes, their passports, everything. I don't know why the fuck. They didn't have their passport on them. That's one thing. You go out of the country, you always have your passport on you. So they spent the next like three days in Barcelona when they were only supposed to be there two days getting the, a temporary passport, you know, buying clothes and, you know, just shit like that, which sucks. But, you know, why? I mean, you gotta fucking steal from people. I believe if you do shit, and I get people are poor and blah, blah, blah. There's just fucking other ways. I believe if even if you're fucking, you do that shit, it's coming back on you, bitch. It's going to come back on you one way or another. You know, it will come on you. I believe you reap what you sow. So, yeah. Anywho, I am almost at work. Thank God I want to take these trays out of my mouth. Uh, I have thought up a <laughs> task for my sub that's under consideration. He has to go get something, though. And then he has to, yeah. So, um, yeah. I am going to, uh, let him know about what it is. Why the popo up here? Um... And, uh, I don't know, maybe he'll let me divulge it. Let me, maybe. <laughs> ah, 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 nobody lets me do anything. I do what the fuck I please. But I have respect for my subs. So I will ask to see if he does not mind me sharing what his task was. And maybe even a picture or two. <laughs> of course, with no face. Um, but yeah. Let. Yeah. Anywho. You motherfuckers. You have a fabulous day. Subs worship your queens. Queens give your subs everything they desire. If they're giving you what you desire. And you know what? Let's just fucking have a awesome fucking day. I'm off tomorrow. I am maybe going to try to do some content of some sort. Uh, I hit the wrong button on my phone. So anyways, bitches, you know what to fucking do. Tribute.